This is Abby. This is her? Hi, Abby. Uh, I'm Calvin. Um, it's so nice to meet you. Uh, I always wanted a daughter. And, uh... Hi, Abby. I'm Danielle. Oh, I used to have a diary just like that. Uh, Abby, th these are your new foster parents. The Gages. Oh, is that a gift for them? Oh, that is so thoughtful. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> ah! Oh, is that a dead oh. bird? A Abby, oh, oh. that is not appropriate. Now please pick that bird up, take it outside and get your things. I'm so, so sorry. I, I, I'm i sure you're waiting for an explanation. She thinks she's Wednesday Adams, except Wednesday actually talks. She didn't even say a single word. She doesn't speak. It, it, she writes. Look, it's not a big deal, okay? This is what 11-year-old girls do. I mean, she'll grow out of it. It's just a phase. Yeah, that's a great way of looking at it. We have seven days to bring her back, right? And this is your new room, Abby. We painted it ourselves. You know, what do you think? Um, oh, yeah. We got you a little something. It's a welcome home gift. Oh. OK. Um, you didn't like it? That's fine. No worries at all. You're tired. You know, why don't you just settle in, okay? And um, just let us know if you need anything. Yeah, right? okay. <laughs> oh, and don't forget, tomorrow you start school. Did you want me to shut the door? Okay. I can't believe she just threw the locket away. We spent like 80 bucks on that. I know. Just for her to be so disrespectful. I really don't know if I'm ready for this, Cal. Danny, I know it's hard, okay? But just imagine how Abby is feeling. I mean, we don't know anything that she's been through. We just have to give her some time, that's all. Okay. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Abby, are you almost ready? It's time for school. Abby, did you hear me? Oh my gosh! What, 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 why did you do this? <laughs> the least you can do is answer me. We worked really hard on this room. Hey, what's going on over here? Wow. Well... This is interesting. Did you do this all by yourself? Why are you encouraging her? Well, I'm just wondering, you know. In hindsight, we should have just asked her what color she wanted. We just assumed she wanted pink. Hey, we better get going. Because you don't want to be late for your first day of school. I can't even. I really don't get a good feeling about her, Calvin. If she likes black instead of pink, so what? We have to make her feel at home. Let's not give up on her. I understand, but we only have six days left until we have to make a decision. I don't want to get stuck with her. Hey, don't say that. 
I'm sorry. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. What is taking her so long anyway? Miss Abby, your first day of school. You know, uh, I went to Bookside too. Pizza Thursdays, the best. But whatever you do, pack a lunch for uh, Macaroni Mondays. Um, speaking of lunch, here's some cash for you. Oh, wow. You're wearing the locket that we got you. I'm so glad that you're wearing that. That makes me really happy. Bye. Today we are going to be dissecting frogs, but before we begin, there are a list of rules we need to go over. First, we need to remember their anatomy. Who can tell me the... This just isn't gonna work. There is something really, really wrong with her. Exactly. That's why we need to help her, not give up on her. Look, she's just a young child. She's a problem child, that's what she is. You know, I saw her wearing the locket that we gave her. Yeah, right when I was dropping her off from school. She even said her first word to me. She said bye, and you know what? Her voice is actually really sweet. Wow, that's surprising. Look, she's making progress, okay? We just need to give her a little bit more time. And then it would just... The school's calling. Please bring Abby in here, Regina. Be right there. So I'm sorry, you're saying she decapitated it? As in she- As in she cut its head off. Blood everywhere. Naturally, the students are traumatized. I know this is only Abby's first day here, but I'm going to have to suspend her. Whoa, let's just slow down a bit. Uh Look, I understand what she did was a little unusual, but as you said, she, it's her first day. She's still learning. I'm sure it was a little misunderstanding. Honey, she's only been here a couple hours and already the school doesn't want to keep her. We can't either. Hey, let's at least listen to what Abby has to say. I mean, I'm sure that there's a good explanation, and if there isn't, now what? She pulled the fire alarm. You were saying? We're sorry that we're bringing her back so soon. Oh, I understand. You guys actually lasted longer than the last few families that have had her. Believe it or not. Poor girl. Poor girl? I mean, if she didn't act so crazy, maybe someone would actually want to keep her. If you don't mind me asking, I mean, how did she end up in the system to begin with? It doesn't even matter anymore, Cal. You know, I'd like to know, still. I mean, for my own peace of mind, I mean, if that's okay. It's a very sad story. Abby's mom died when she was young, and her dad, he didn't know how to deal with it. So he started using drugs. One day, he left the house, told Abby he'd be right back. Just he never came back. Abby was left at home, alone, by herself, for five weeks 
Luckily, the neighbors got worried and they called the cops. We found Abby all by herself, barely alive. She was just five years old. Oh my gosh. That's terrible. No wonder she has a problem opening up to people because she has so many trust issues. Yeah. I'm guessing that's why she sabotages every placement she gets. <sighs> well, hopefully, someone will figure her out someday. Thanks for trying. I'll be in touch when we have another match. Hey, you've hardly touched your food. Uh, sorry, I just don't have much of an appetite. You know, I think I'm gonna go to the room. That's all right? Yeah. Abby's diary. Uh, look, I know I shouldn't be reading it, but I mean, you won't believe what's in it. Calvin, I really think we should just be trying to move on. Now. Well, why don't you just come in and, you know, just take a look. Dear diary, another day, another, another foster, foster family. family. Today, I'm meeting my new foster parents. Can you hear the excitement in my voice? I even got them a gift. A dead bird. I bet they'll change their mind about me within 10 minutes of meeting me. It'll be a new record. Wish me luck. This seems like it was all just one big game to her. Look, why don't we just see what else she has to say? Dear Diary, surprise, surprise. They brought me to their house. I didn't think they would. As mean as I'm trying to be to them, they're actually kind of nice. They gave me a pretty necklace, which I threw in the trash just to see what they do. They didn't break them. They even painted my room for me, which would have been cute if it wasn't the same color as the room I grew up in. The room where my dad abandoned me and left me all alone to die. After my new foster parents are asleep, I'm going to paint it black, which means they'll probably be kicking me out as soon as they see it. Makes me a little sad, but better now than later, right? There are tear stains on the page. Yeah, it's almost like she wanted to stay, you know? Hey, honey, are you okay? It's just so sad to think that her dad just left her like that. It clearly still haunts her. Did she write anything else? Yeah. Dear diary, I'm somehow still here, even after I painted my room. I don't know why they're not giving up. None of my other foster parents would have made it this far. Maybe these ones are different. I don't know. I'm gonna try and get in trouble at school today and see if they send me back. If they don't, then maybe it means that they're not gonna abandon me. Like my dad did. I feel like such a bad person now. She just needed to be loved. That's all she needed. And I just pushed her away. <laughs> Let me get that. Oh, hey, sorry to come by like this. Did Abby leave her diary here? She, she really can't be without it. Is she with you? Oh, yeah, she's in the car. Oh, by the way, good news. I found a new girl and that- I don't want another girl. Abby, I am so sorry for sending you back. I, I made a big mistake. I, I thought you were doing all those things because you hated us. I see now that 
It was all just a test to see if we'd give up on you like so many people have. But I want you to know if, if you'll give us another chance, I promise we won't give up on you. We won't abandon you. I promise you will never have to worry about that. So, what do you say? Do you want to come back? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>